video brought to you by Dodge Neon Racing, www.dodgeneonracing.webs.com for all your Dodge Neon needs. Today we're going to be talking about your speedometer and your tachometer. Issues that can happen is your needle can get stuck underneath the resting needle. When that happens, you need to reset your tachometer slash speedometer. Either one or or could be that way or both. That can happen from your speedometer end up going this way and then resting back this way instead of actually coming and resting this way. Or your speedometer could not be reading correctly. Well, there's an easy step in order to fix this. And all it calls for is a, first off, when you go to start any neon, it is best to wait for the dings to stop before you start. Okay, the dinging has stopped, so that means I could actually start the vehicle, but that I'm not going to do. The dinging, when it stops, is basically telling you that the car is ready to start. That means the fuel pump has been turned on and it has sent fuel to the engine. Fuel rail, so you can get your first ignition spark. It also is saying that the computer is on to monitor the engine and any other vehicle parts and also your radio should be able to come on and other function of the vehicle when you're in this mode. Now, if your car is set in trip mode, you need to be out of trip mode. So in order to do that, push the button that, and you'll end up coming back to your miles on the odometer of what's on your vehicle. Now turn the car off like you're getting ready to pull the key out. Wait a second. Now the next thing you'll do is you'll hold this button in with it on the off position. Take your other hand and turn the key as you was turning it on and watch what happens. And that ding means everything is being reset. So basically what this does is your temperature gauge that tells you if your car is cold or hot, your miles per hour, your tack, and your fuel will all get reset. So if you have inaccurate readings in any of these, this will reset it. Now in some some ma, some neons and some other Chrysler functions, you will end up getting a code down here. It will say uh, one, two, three, or four. Now, and it'll go through different settings depending on how much function you have in this. Now, for this basic standard and any basic standard neon, this works. You'll hear a ding. It will go through one, two, three, four, reset, ding. Meaning it has completed its cycle and it is done. And you can start her up. And as you can see, everything's working. I do have an engine light on. And that is because my bank two oxygen sensor has went bad but it's not something that I'm too worried about since I'm in a, a non-emission state I'll eventually fix it uh, but other than that that's how you do it uh, like comment subscribe let us know how we're doing or any kind of questions you may have and I'll see what I can find out for you again brought to you by Dodge Neon Racing www dodgeneonracing.webs.com and you can also find us on Facebook at Dodge Neon Racing. Thank you and you all have a great day.